Narlak adjusted his twelve-eyed visor, the swirling blue and green of earth a particularly offensive shade. Repulsive, he grumbled to GLRKZLB, his ever-silent co-pilot. GLRKZLB, a pulsating blob encased in a transparent bubble helmet, gurgled in agreement. Narlak, supreme commander of the Zlorp Empire, had stumbled upon Earth quite by accident. A miscalculated jump through a wormhole had landed his flagship, the Putrid Pus, in low orbit. Now, he was faced with a dilemma, stranded near a planet that made his chitinous skin crawl. The more Narlak watched, the more his disgust solidified. He saw creatures with two flimsy limbs struggling to carry objects. He witnessed squawking, hairless beings flinging brightly colored spheres at each other, a barbaric ritual, no doubt. The stench emanating from the planet, a grotesque mixture of burnt hydrocarbons and, what was that other revolting smell? Flowers? Was enough to make him want to launch his puke ray. This planet must be purged, Narlak declared, slamming his bony fist on the control panel. GLRKZLB, ever the optimist, gurgled hopefully. Maybe they could just push Earth out of the way. Narlak scoffed. Too time-consuming. No, a more definitive solution was needed. He activated the Putrid Pus main weapon, the Desolator, a planet cracker notorious for its efficiency, and the lingering stench of singed planets. A cruel smile stretched across Narlak's multiple mandibles. Suddenly, a high-pitched squeal pierced the bridge. Glarksel pointed a quivering appendage at the main screen. A small, silver craft was rocketing towards the putrid pus. Incoming vessel. Glarksel gurgled, a hint of panic in its tone. Narlak squinted. The craft looked strangely, familiar. It couldn't be. Then, recognition dawned. It was a Zlorp escape pod. And it was broadcasting a distress signal. With a sigh that rattled the ship's hull, Narlak deactivated the desolator. Looks like he had bigger problems than a particularly unpleasant planet. He steered the putrid pus towards the escape pod, grumbling about the inconvenience. As they docked, a battered Zlorp warrior tumbled out, his armor singed and his translator spouting gibberish. Finally, it settled on a garbled, thank, you, for, saving. Earth? Narlak stared, momentarily speechless. Saving Earth? The audacity. Then, a slow, horrifying realization dawned. Perhaps this planet wasn't so bad after all. It was certainly preferable to facing the wrath of the Zlorp Emperor for accidentally destroying a populated world. With a shudder, Narlak steered the putrid pus away from Earth at warp speed, vowing never to take a wrong turn in a wormhole ever again. Earth, for all its offensive qualities, was left blissfully unaware of its near annihilation, thanks to a grumpy alien with a penchant for bureaucratic nightmares.